Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of X-Men The Dark Phoenix Before we get into the nitty gritty, I am just going to say all of you, most of you are drama queens It is, I'll go into it in more detail, but a lot of you are overreacting for this film Or a lot of you just ex had high expectations and it just went, you know, completely downhill So if you don't know, basically this is meant to be a remake of X-Men Last Stand um, but it's basically Jean Grey who ends up getting this powerful thing that they call the Phoenix and she can't control it and shit hits the pat fan, fan, she ends up like killing people and stuff like that. So first off, I find this, I find this film watchable. Like, I wouldn't say it's unwatchable, it is watchable. Don't get me wrong though, it is a weak, it is a weak X-Men, X-Men, um, film. But I wasn't expecting much after Apocalypse really. Um, a lot of people didn't like Apocalypse. I thought Apocalypse is alright. Like this one, it is watchable. It does have its like downsides and stuff. I would say when it comes to the story, I heard one of you say it's not not really like a good story in it. I mean, you've got Jean Grey's story in it, obviously. They're trying to, you know, stop this happening. And I don't want to spoil it. Too. <laughs> Should I just spoil it? I mean, are you guys really going to watch this? Are you really going to watch this? Um, I'm joking, I, I won't spoil it for you. There is there is a storyline. The storyline is a little bit just mixed up a little bit, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like, it's there, but it's it's a little bit all over the place. And it's just, this happens, then that happens, then this happens, then that happens. Like, I get why people may not like it for that. I mean, as I said, the storyline is a little bit all over the place. But, again, it's still watchable. It's not like it's something like it's hard to follow or anything like that. It's still watchable. I will say that Jeremy's review of this is an overreaction. I wouldn't have said it was dog shit. I probably would have said you would have enjoyed it. Um enjoyed it uh drunk i would have rented that one instead of saying it's dog shit because it's not it's not 100 percent dog shit he did compare it to all the other x-men films i will say this is probably the weakest though um just under apocalypse i would say i've probably enjoyed apocalypse a little bit more because near the end of this film it it did come across that can we just hurry up and end it please it was <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it was a little bit draggy um, what I found anyway, I was like, can, can we just hurry up and finish this now? Saying that, even though I did say it is watchable, it is watchable, but it is a bit, you know, as I said, the story is a little bit all over the place. They could, it could have been a lot more. It just, the story is a bit linear and stuff. It, you know, they could do a lot more with the story and everything like that. So it did make it near towards the end a little bit draggy. Like, can we just end this now, please? Um... As I said, it is probably the weakest. As I said, I did prefer Apocalypse. I'm not sure between this one. Mind you, I think even Wolverine Origins is probably better than this, actually. I think Jeremy did have a point. Um, this is probably the weakest X-Men film, saying that. I will... The only reason why I compare it to Wolverine Origins and Command is it even worse than that because that film's pretty bad, but I think even that had a better story than this. Um, so yeah, I would definitely hands down say this is the weakest, but just because it's the weakest film doesn't make it a bad film. As I said, it's got its problems, the story's a little bit linear, um, it does, I think it, I believe it, for me, it's longer than it should have been, if that makes any sense. I mean, if they had the length of what, this is around about two hours, I think it, a little bit too long. Unless they were gonna, unless the storyline was a little bit more bulky, or you know, if you get what I mean, it's a bit linear, and maybe they should have sort of, kind of, being the storyline being a little bit all over the place, maybe sort of, not had it all over the, like it seems like it was rushed, if that makes any sense. I mean, it was it pulled back. I think this film was pulled back a little bit. I don't know. It just seemed rushed, and as I said, it was longer than it should have been. It was a little bit draggy. I would say that it's still watchable though. Um, if I was to rate this film, uh, I'd, I'd probably, if I'd rate it out of, what shall I wait? If I'd rate it out of three, I'd 
not rate it out of three. If I'd rate it out of five, I'd probably give it, I want to say either three or 2.5. As I said, it's, it, don't get me wrong. It's not, a, it's not an amazing film. It's not an amazing film. It's not the strongest X-Men film there's been, but it is watch watchable. Like, it's not total dog shit that it's unwatchable. It is watchable. It's just, it's a little bit, as I said, it's a little bit too long than it's supposed to be. So near the end, it's like, can you just hurry up and finish? The storyline's a little bit all over the place. And obviously, there's the, there's the whole kind of timeline, which we knew wouldn't, didn't make any sense anyway when we saw the trailer, because... If you saw X Men Apocalypse, she'd already had the Phoenix, so that was a thing that we knew anyway. Just didn't make any sense. So, I mean, it's like they've completely forgot Apocalypse even existed and thought, you know what, let's just do Dark Phoenix and not think about it. But that goes back to my point that I just made that it seemed like this film was rushed and I didn't really think about it as much. And then I think the whole timeline thing might have been an accident and then thought of it, but. Yeah, it, it it could have been a lot better for a film that was supposed to be, you know, that was supposed to be a great um, remake of, you know, the original X-Men Last Stand, which everyone hated. And then now it's like it's actually the weakest and it's weak. It's not as good as that film and it's actually weaker than all the other X-Men films. It's, it's a bit sad, but obviously the next X-Men film which the trailer's been come out ages ago, New Mutant, so it's going to be new actors and stuff like that. Hopefully, it's going to be good. As I said, I don't know if it's Disney's creation or Fox's creation. It might have been Fox's creation because we don't necessarily know when those talks were happening with Disney and Fox when Disney brought out Fox, so that film could actually be a Disney film. Um, I don't know. And that's another thing where it could seem a little bit rushed because they knew anyway that Disney are buying Fox, so they thought, fuck it, let's just hurry up and get this done, done and dusted, and they didn't really make that much of an effort. But as I said, as a whole overall, it's an alright film. It's watchable. Um, sort of entertaining, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Sort of. It's sort of entertaining. It, it's all right. The story is a bit linear. It goes on for longer than it's supposed than it should be, and it, it's a little bit all over the place. But it's not a completely shithole. Like I've I've seen worse movies than this. Hence, Lady in Water. I think that's what it's called by um, M Light Shyamalan. You want to see a shit film? See that. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this review. So, bye guys.